Over and over, the thing I keep hearing is Adobe products don't fit my budget. And so I thought, why not take a look at a graphics and design solution that you can use for free, Canva. Yes, you can subscribe to Canva Pro, but I'm actually amazed how much you can do without spending a dime. I'm using Canva inside Chrome on a PC, just so you know. Could just as easily be a Mac, as well as a device, by the way, and there's desktop apps, so... You can, you can try it out in myriad different ways. Now, this is, of course, a web app, so it's in a perpetual state of transition. Very nice transition, in, in my opinion, but things could change. I just want you to be aware of that. Now, as you work through, you're probably going to experiment if you try it out, and you may find yourself kind of wondering where the assets that you've created have gone. For now, they're over here in this upload section. So you, you can create things inside Canva. You can also upload files. If you upload certain kinds of files like a .ai file or a PDF file, it's gonna come in as a design template. Other files such as JPEGs and pings and so forth are gonna be treated as assets. And that's just something you should know and you'll feel your way through it, of course. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to a new document. I'm gonna create something new, even though it's gonna look like what we're seeing right here. So I'll go to file and I'll choose create new design or you can select from 100,000 different templates and by 100,000, I'm not sure that, I'm pretty sure that that's, a, a, I'm lowballing it. I think there's more than that. It's unbelievable how many there are. There's a bunch of different predefined sizes you can choose from right here. I am because I'm interested in getting, you know, the, the predictable result, right? Something that, that I can control. I'm going to go with custom size and I'm going to dial in something big. Let's try 3840 by 2160. So I'm really going for it here. 16 by 9, of course, but big 16 by 9. Now, before I go any further, I want to stress, again, I'm using the free version. I'm not going to do anything you can't do for free, by the way. And if you like that idea, then please just take a moment and subscribe. But not everything is free in Canva. Changing the size of an existing design you have to, you can only be done in Canva Pro which costs a certain amount of money per month. So I just want you to know that if you want to keep it free, which you do until you really want to commit, right? Then just make sure you get it right in the first place or just recreate designs. It's really easy, actually. And I don't want to make it sound like you're really stuck because you're not. Now you can sift through those 100,000 templates I was telling you about. Maybe there's just five. There's tons. I'm joking about that. There are tons and tons, and you can play with them all you want. I have no interest in them whatsoever. What I'm going to do is switch to this guy, Magic Media, which is going to give me access to the AI capabilities. And among the AI capabilities for now, I'm going to go back to uploads for a second and show you videos. You can make for free, as things stand right now, you can make four free AI videos. And so, like, I made this guy right here walking across the street. It's just not, not anything breathtaking. You can see that. I think your breath was not taken away. So, this will really not take your breath away. I asked for a Fisher-Price farmer on the moon, driving a tractor on the moon, and this is what I got. He's not on the moon. I don't know if it's a he. His face, the person's face is blocked. And do you see all that movement? It's just like so, so much action going on. It's just these two things in the far background that are moving. So anyway, I don't think much of the AI videos right now, but good news is you can barely create them for free. But we have a lot of options where still images are concerned. And the reason I'm really kind of making a deal about this, here's my prompt, big wide tree with, with, with whimsical spiral bark texture. <sighs> we need to take a moment to breathe. And landscape is what I'm going to go with. Now, I want a style, let's say, so I'll click see all. And you can only select one of these many styles that are available. There aren't actually that many styles. And so it's no Firefly. I'm going to say that. But no Adobe Firefly that is so I'm just gonna go with moody and then I'm gonna click generate image in order to see what I come up with now depending on the time of day I've tried this many times now it's there there I tried this at night and it went very very slowly 
which which implies to me Canva is an Australian company, by the way. So it's a chance that across the globe, different people are using it at different times of day. Right now, this is daytime. It's kind of evening, actually, as I'm recording this. And it's going quite quickly. It's going like at Adobe Firefly speeds. And then we've got all these things. And you could just click on one to try it out. It's going to preview out here in your design slash canvas if you will and you could try each one of these just to get a sense for whether you like it or not now you may wonder how big they are right how how what what, what size because especially those of us who have created a lot of ai and different things out there what size are these coming in at and if you start dragging you can see it'll list the size but that's not the actual true size by the way these are just so you know these are being generated the the white the there is no widescreen the the landscape format is 2432 pixels wide by 1664 pixels tall which is a total of four megapixels by the way so about what you'd expect from adobe firefly and in case you're wondering how in the world do i know that well what you do if you click here on this dot 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 doesn't really give you it's like generate more like this that's fine but like if you want to download these, because of course you do, you want to keep them, right? You want to assemble them. Then uh, you click on uploads. And now these guys, these same, these same images are available to me. Click on the dot, 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 and I can download. And that will download at original size. So that can be pretty ham handy. <laughs> that is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab. Let's say this guy. Why not? It's pretty cool. And it's going to snap as I drag it and it'll snap as I scale it as well. Notice that even though it's not, it's not really widescreen, right? It's not 16 by nine. So I'm going to have to scale it even bigger. And you may say, Hey Deke, do you trust this scaling? What, what kind of an image interpolation is it using? I have no idea. And it's not nothing fancy. I'm pretty confident. So you, you, this isn't, you know, if you were really zoom in on it and take a look at the pixels, I imagine they would suffer a little bit because I am expanding it. However, it's, it's you know, again, I, I just want to say, if at any time you go, uh, I'm not so sure, Deke, this isn't a pro solution. Come on. It's free. It's free. I'm not doing anything that costs any money. I didn't even give them an email address, let alone a credit card. These guys make it really easy just to play around and get things done, as we're about to see. Anyway, now let's say I want to create some text, but I want to create kind of extruded text. And so notice over here you have apps. There's all kinds of apps that run inside Canva and you can you can check them out I, I haven't come across one that's not free yet i'm sure there are some that you know would, would, would require a few bucks here and there but the 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 one that i that i found that i, I just love is this thing called type extrude from a group called pixel tinkers i think i should credit them now notice hey i'm going to enter uh, some text here. The refuge is is what I'm trying to type, and notice that it doesn't like pop into place right away. What what you got to do with this specific plugin app, if you will, is you got to scroll down and you see the preview way down here, and then tap on Add to Design. So they could change this. I, I, I of course they could change it. Hey, real quick, Canva hosts a bunch of apps that you can download from all sorts of third-party vendors, some of which are totally free. To see one such example, Image Upscaler, which upsamples images using generative AI, join my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash now. Anyway, I'm going to change some colors too. And you have this little color bar you can play with, which isn't very, you know, it's not like you're sampling colors from the image that is possible elsewhere inside Canva, just not here. And so what I'm going to dial undo is dial in a hex value. And so I'm going with a 996, you know, uh, B3D as one does. It's a, it's a nice kind of bright, cheerful shade of wood coloring. And then for the edges right here, I'll go with uh, 996 as, 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 as befits such things. Actually, I just entered that, did I not? I'm Stop being a clown and enter the values here. 1A0D00 is what I'm looking for. And that's a nice... Uh, dark shade of, of brown, as you can see right here. And then I could just update the element. So make sure that it's easy to think 
especially if you play around with this thing for a few days that some of your old assets have gone kind of wonky and you can't update them anymore you just got to look for your updating opportunities here you got to click this update element thing then you have this link thing that you can change here i got to see the preview as it work you can change the length of the extrusion see that and the angle of the extrusion as well the border width if you like anything that we would think of as being a stroke as a border in canva and then we have uh, alignment. You may be thinking this whole time, how do you change the font? Oh my gosh, this is how you change the font. It isn't like we just have a couple of fonts to choose from either. There are zillions of fonts. It's a little overwhelming. Inside of here, you can search for a font if you want to, but it's not like you can just say, well, I don't think you can just say a specific kind of font you want to look for. But anyway, I, I'm, this is the default font, Bataya, and I think it's great. So I'm just going to stick with it because I don't want to waste a ton of time necessarily. Click on update right there. And did you see it update? All right, now I'll size it. You may have noticed there wasn't really a type size option. So I'm sizing this guy, dragging him down here. I could right click and choose a line to page. And it's all it, the center is going to be dimmed in my case because I already centered it because I just dragged it to the center. It snapped magically. If you're looking for front and back, you know, bring forward, send backward, that kind of stuff, they're available from layer. We don't really have an intense layer structure, but we do have stacking order in this program. And so anyway, I'm just going to take this guy down a little bit. Now, let's say I want to add some basic animation. I would click on animate. And then we have all sorts of free animation effects available to, uh, to us. That is, some of them are a little bit hokey, but I'm going to go with Breathe, which I think is kind of cool. And then I do have uh, th this scale option right here where I could set the scale of the Breathe that's going on here and whether it's in or out. But that's all got a crown next to it. Anything that shows a crown means you'd have to upgrade to Canva Pro, which of course would eliminate the freeness of the whole thing then you'd be paying a monthly expense they do currently have a 30-day free program and they say i haven't tried it and they say that uh, for the pro uh canva pro that is and they say they're going to warn you to let you know if uh if uh one before they charge you and so you know you can you can investigate that i haven't i haven't i am working scrooge like here i'm not paying a dime so far and so just want you to see that that that's an option which i think is really cool now let's say i want to have a kind of star effect go across the tree right here and so initially i thought well i'll just make a star there's a bunch of shapes here's elements that's where your shapes are so you can see all the shapes it has available to you and i just wanted to take a star and kind of make it more spiky not really an option here and you can copy and paste from other programs although i warn you is in my experience there, there is no vector support. So if you copy something from Illustrator or Designer and try to paste it in here, it's going to paste as pixels. So, and chunky pixels as well. So then I thought, well, if I can't get that, well, maybe I can just search for sparkles. Why don't I just do that? Because that's what I'm kind of looking for, right? And it says, sorry, we couldn't find any sparkles in the shapes. That's the problem is I'm working in shapes. I know there's sparkles to be had here. So I'll get out of space. Here we go. There they are in graphics. See all. Anything that has a crown, as things stand now, is pro. Requires you pay. To pay, that is. I don't want to. So here, this thing doesn't have a crown on it. So I'll click on it. and just comes in here like so. And now I'll scale it. Now if you want a little more control over where this thing is a little more. I want to emphasize that we've got this position option right here, which is going to bring up some coordinate positioning inside the canvas. Isn't that crazy? But it's not percentage, so we don't, you know, you're not working with a percentage of the original size or anything, but you could grab this guy and rotate like so, and then it'll show you the rotate value. And I could say, hey, I want negative 20 degrees or what have you. Now, what I really want to do is I want to animate this. I want it to go across the page. And so I've got animate once again, but of course. And so I want you to see this guy, create an animation, that little B right there. And that allows you to draw a path of animation like this. Notice I'm going kind of slow and then I'll speed up. I want you to see that it takes that very seriously. Notice that it, it tracks the speed for free. It's doing that, by the way. I think that's amazing. I don't want that because that looks like garbage. So I'll click delete path to get rid of it. 
still got my B and it's still telling me things I can do. I could, I wanted to draw a kind of arc, but I never got it smooth enough. So, hey, you can press shift whilst dragging. And so I'll just go ahead and press shift whilst I drag and I'll click rotate and watch it. It should rotate as it goes across, but notice it went too fast. So I'm going to take the speed down. I can do all this with that. There's no crowns around here. I can do this for free. It's not doing a uh, terrific job necessarily, but that's my fault. That's the way I drew, I, drew, I drew that path. And so I've got these guys right here, smooth and steady. I'm going to go with steady. And it look at how steady it is now and how it's showing me the refuge breathing, the refuge type, as I try out the speed of this animation. All right, now at this point you're thinking, okay, great. What in the world are you going to do with this? You're just going to sit here and play with it inside Canva? And nobody's going to... No, of course, no. You're not going to do that. It will save. It's auto-saving as you go. So it is saving your project, but you can export it. So I'll go to File and I'll choose Download is the way it works. Now, your download options for free are limited. You can't change the quality. That's got a little crown next to it. It is suggesting MP4 video, but you could go with an animated GIF. You could try that out. And that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download. And then it will preview as it's downloading, just so you have a sense for what's going on. And now here it is playing and looping. This is that MP4 file actually playing locally on this machine. So I do have something to show for it. Is it a professional quality video? I'm kind of wondering why it's not. And I'll tell you, I, I saved a lot of money when I was creating this thing because it was free. Oh, and by the way, now that it's backed by Canva, Affinity is promising to accelerate the rollout of new features in its commercial applications. So what do you think? Comment below and then subscribe and turn on notifications for more exciting developments. And for an example of AI powered upsampling available in Canva for absolutely free, join me at patreon.com slash deke now and then go to deke.com and sign up for my free newsletter. I'm Deke McClellan. This is Deke Now.